Ken, so let's start with your two buys. We know certainly tech has been the outperformer since the start of the year. You've got two picks in this space. In this space. First up, NVIDIA. I thought this was a bit surprising given the run-up that we've seen over 100% since January 1st. What's going to keep this momentum to the upside? Yeah, look, the earnings come out next Wednesday, the 24th. Again, I don't have a peek at them, but I think the market's getting behind on the earnings. I mean, this reminds you of that kind of hockey stick growth that we saw with Tesla a few years ago. That valuations matter, but they don't if they're going to grow the top line. AI is a big thing. This is going to dominate. Before I said, hey, Fed funds and all that's probably the ninth inning. Well, for AI, we're probably more in a second inning, just the beginning of the cycle. Hey, it will have the ups and downs, recognize the stock is going to parabolic. The tactics that we kind of use is kind of buy and hold maybe a, a half to two thirds and maybe trade around that sell some calls and so forth. But at the end of the day, this is where the leadership's going to be. And I, I still believe there's a lot more upside with the video throughout the rest of the year, even though stocks already doubled this year. Yeah, I can't think about how many times we heard AI in earnings calls. But when you think about those who have been leading, obviously, NVIDIA with the chips, Microsoft's certainly been a big leader on that front. You know, it's interesting. We heard from Meta this week talking about having to own the entire stack to be able to scale AI and win in this space. How does Microsoft present an opportunity for you in terms of that and the competition that is just gearing up right now? Look, Microsoft, thankfully, is not a one-trick pony, right? So it has everything from gaming, all the different verticals, from cloud to, you know, all the different software. You can't go without software with, with Microsoft. And then and the, in addition to that will be AI. And if you look at Microsoft, the last few quarters, they beat earnings and they raised guidance. You know, those same thing for on the video. So these are the companies you always want to look for. Those companies that can beat our estimates, raise guidance. And I think Microsoft's going to take a little chunk out of the, you know, dominant space for Google search. Even a small market share goes in the right direction and you get all those many verticals with Microsoft.